Another treat for you today, we have got Tai Quan Crow, who I think perhaps is the best named Skylander for quite some time. Of course, we saw packaging um, and a little glimpse of the figure at Gamescom, but we didn't have gameplay and we didn't have a close-up image of what the figurine would look like. Of course, Tai Quan Crow is part of the Ninja Battle class and has a fire element, as we'll be seeing in his attacks as he's already... Um, heading into the action, the familiar level now, but it was interesting here is to see how he dispatches these different enemies. And instantly we're seeing him throw his head back and call out to Buzzerbeak with kind of a musical charm that brings him down. And then Buzzerbeak is fighting on his side. So as we head into this next section, let's see how this affects gameplay. Certainly you've got those distant ranged attacks from your shuriken, but there you go. He calls down one. We do more than one. So we've got Buzzerbeak attacking enemies and buzzer beak sort of spins them round I don't, is it going to time out he's still going collecting stuff from the crate and um, blowing up the crate and it's there in the background he seems to have disappeared now so again we call him down so it feels like the number of buzzer beak um villain helpers you can have it when you start is one but we'll keep an eye on that in the footage as we go forward because no doubt you'll be able to power that up you can see a lot of fire in the arena here as well and that's from his roundhouse kick that kind of lights lights the floor in front of him and again causes additional damage and kind of acts a little bit like a shield against enemies getting too close so certainly good for a ranged character like Taekwon Crow. Now here we see what is either another version of that summon or potentially a sensei power as each summons a massive buzzer beak so let's rewind that and you can see what happens here in detail so he does his shuriken attack I think at the same time he then calls down a little buzzer beak but that shattering shuriken causes him to shout again and then down <laughs> stomping into the arena you have this huge massive buzzer beak that's really dispatching pretty much all the enemies now surely that must be a sensei power i was talking to wes about this he's not sure because it see this seems to last a long time and it certainly is carrying on here whereas previous sensei powers for the other senseis that's a quick attack that does devastating damage but doesn't last. So there you go, buzzer beaks off and we head on um, through the rest of this level. We've seen quite a few new levels now but in quite various different ways. So what I need to do I think is trying to string them together and work out which level, which enemies go with which. Um, of course this is into the, the gong battle, we saw this previously with Barbella um, and Taekwon Crow um, is making light work of the enemies here as well. You can see the little um, red jewels getting filled up and one last one last one and there you go that's him finished and he's completed that gong challenge and gets his just reward but let's take a pause from the action just for a minute just to have a look at the figure so of course he has that shuriken star on the base indicating that he is a ninja class um, sensei master but you can see he has been through the wars the, his beak is obviously obviously been beaten up he's got a few scratches there and there's a real sense of action to his stance along with that they were also kind of a focus on primary colors here so the yellow and the blue and the red and a lot of attention to detail you can see the, the texture on his clothing there as we get in really close so back on with some gameplay and this fire and ice level now I've not seen this bit before where the Skylander here is directing an ice cannon in front of him and it seems like we need to trigger those different points of blocks. You see, as we're firing the ice into that fire, it's putting it out and then they're, they're moving out and in. So it's kind of like an ice cannon puzzle, which obviously is entirely appropriate for a fire and ice level. But a really nice touch there and certainly opening up different sorts of gameplay. And talking of new, these enemies here I have not seen before. So let's get this rewound and have a closer look at them. So we'll back up the footage here and you can see them falling down in kind of like circular ball form and then popping out their wings. It's really cool. I like, like the way they sort of come to life. Taekwon Crow is kind of making short work of them. So it's a little bit hard to see, but let's play that again. So watch closely here, one, two, three, and then what the guy at the back popping out his wings, making an attack, um, and I guess potentially could fly their blades, um, but certainly not an enemy I'd seen before. So let's press on with some more of this Taekwondo footage and through the levels. Now we, again, we've seen this before, but let's have a look at how we dispatch these enemies. Again, these are tricky because they have this ranged attack, of sort of ball of light that gets flung against you. Um, and you can use sort of environmental hazards as well. 
we've got our little helper trotting along beside us, um, keeping them at bay. So that's a quite a nice tactic for Tycon Crow. Um, putting up that wall of flame, standing behind it and then shoving out your shurikens is going to be a sure way to stop enemies getting too close. So back in our fire level, again these enemies, I don't think I've seen them before, but certainly we've, they've been around in this footage, casting a spell of kind of explosion on me. Now I love these what they're like sort of chemical beakers with with um tentacles that have come out let's rewind that and get a close look at them as we back up um they don't seem to do a whole load of damage but in terms of character design look <laughs> it's an eye it's an eye in a chemical flask with tentacles going out the bottom charging towards Taekwon Crow who's basically wiping them up and so more of these purple enemies dropping from the sky they, they look like they've got wings but then they're, they're not flying so potentially they are um, weapons rather than wings and again across our chain linked um, chain <laughs> on into this next level now none of the characters playing this have gone over for that imaginite chest I'd like to know what's in there and we're pressing on again you've got these triggers and that will get us across the different sort of causeways here but I want to have another look back in this fire level and we get to see that these enemies from the front and you get to see their faces they look like they're sort of grinning at you as they fall from the sky now these guys I think are tricky because they they'll come in they'll summon their attack and then they go off and hide and this guy can't get away because the walls there so we've dispatched with him in more familiar territory this floor is going to disappear we knew that was going to happen we've been here a few times before we've got our bomb attack enemies we've got our Norse Viking axemen again we'd love to know what they're called if you've got any ideas or maybe some guesses of your own you can tell us there we're going up the lift to the top level here gonna collect all the gold and move across and rounding off our look at Taekwon Crow back with a more, in more upgraded form you can see he's got multiple shurikens now um still only one helper villain coming to to his aid so maybe that's not been upgraded this will be good those throwing out those shurikens and then coming back almost like there's some some sort of yo-yo attack i think is really good the one final treat for you before we go is a look at this massive buzzer beak um assistant i mean he completely rips up the level so it's kind of you call him in and it's kind of like job done so i'm sure there must be some limits to how much you can and can't use it so we'll get that rewound and you can have a look at it while i'm rounding off the video but let us know is is taekwon crow going to be one of your favorite senseis to pull into skylanders imaginators and upgrade your creative characters or are you looking for some others we looked at barbella um earlier and I think there's a lot to choose from in this wave one. Also, have you spotted any levels or any enemies that we haven't spotted as we've gone through this footage? We'd love to, for you to point that out to us so we can go back and have a look ourselves. And also, if there are enemies we don't know the names of, how about having a guess? Do drop a comment down below because we'll be in there just as soon as this video goes live.